objectives of the especially is Spark ecosystem. Of course, there are quite a lot of details about each and every component, but still, it is like, and also it is a WIP as well, work in progress about many of those components, they are not even in their beta releases, they are still in alpha releases and all, which are like, you know, uh, being tested by the respective developers them, by themselves, but still, uh, there is a lot of activity which is going on. Now, it's kind of Spark ecosystem wherein you must have heard about Hadoop ecosystem when we were talking about, um, you know, Hadoop. But right now we are talking about something called Spark ecosystem. Now, this is something which is, you can see that there are some, some of the points which are, you can see that alpha release actually. There is a spelling mistake here. It's actually alpha or pre-alpha release. So you can see this blind DB, graphics, Spark R, even MLib also. It is MLib. There is there is a very, I mean, um, uh, there are very few capabilities or there are very few algorithms which are supported as of now. But again, the the count is continuously you know increasing over the period of time. But right now you can see actually there are three colors: Shark, Spark streaming, MLib. Graphics, Spark R, BlindDB, they are built on the top of Spark Core Engine. I will cover them uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll immediately try to cover them in bit more detail in this slide. So first of all, Spark Core Engine is, as, as you can know that it's, it's all about, you know, writing your raw Spark program, write your Scala program, launch it, write your, uh, write your you know, Java program and uh, launch it. And they, they, so all of that is being executed by Spark Core Engine. But then when it comes on the top of it, there are, you know, various projects which have come up so fast. One is Sharp. Uh, I have already told it's about if you have to do some sort of structured data analysis, Spark, and oh, of course your volume is too much, then typically you would like to go for Sharp. On the top of it, you can see there is something called BlindDB. Now, as the name name is quite interesting, isn't it? Blind database kind of thing. It is approximate SQL. Now, this is something interesting, isn't it, guys? Especially those SQL guys and all. Approximate SQL. What does it mean? It means See guys, I am getting a barrage of data. I am getting huge amount of data. So I am not really interested in exactitude. I am not really interested in exact results, but I just want to get a feel of it. I just want to get an approximate results. So fire a query, do some sort of sampling, give me some output. So that is called approximate SQL. Isn't it a new and interesting concept? Many times I don't really require uh, a, a accurate result. A, a sampling would do for me, isn't it? So it's kind of blind DB, which is still WIP, but yes, it is one of the very exciting features to watch for. So of course, uh, you know, in the coverage also, uh, I'll talk about the coverage a bit later. You know, of course, we'll not be able to cover Spark R or, you know, blind DB or even for that matter, MLib also or graphics because they are not yet released. But we know that, yes, these are some of the WIP things, right? Which will be, uh, which will cover over the, uh, which will come over the period of time, right? So now, um, uh, let me let me just go forward. Okay, so Kunal says Shark is for structured data analysis. Okay, guys, so I'll I'll take your questions a bit later. Let me just uh, you know complete some of the things. Sir. Okay, so now uh, when it comes to Shark streaming, Shark streaming is all about. This is where Spark takes the power or takes the role of or I would say potentially can take the role of storm wherein it will enable you to do the interact uh, to create the interactive applications using the live streaming data you can you can do the streaming of the data and then spark can read that is you know can can run the its its operations from the you know uh, streamed data itself so so that is that is about uh, spark streaming and then there is a machine learning li library it is just like mahout which is built on the top of uh, you know which is built on the top of uh, uh, spark but only thing is it runs almost 100 times faster it is not yet so enriched as mahout let me tell it is not yet so much enriched as mahout but yes it is coming up well and then 
just like you know you talk about graph distribution graph processing then you have neo 4j you have the options of giraffe and all for you know distributed graph processing and all but when it comes to uh, spark spark is trying to create something on those lines as well when it comes to that it's called graphics or spark r there are so many people especially from data science track they must be aware r is like you know for a statistical analysis definitely it is something which is very exciting and already there is an integration for r with hadoop which is already existing right so r with hadoop definitely it is there but now there are uh, oh, people are now start but again if you re remember r with hadoop is a kind of a uh, accidental project i would say so r was being developed hadoop was being developed separately and then there were some attempts to create it and cdh 4.4 onwards only now you are having that uh, kind of integration already available but with spark all of these things are being taken care from the very start itself so whenever you will see a release of it of course that kind of installation issues uh, i i specifically remember with you know some of those data science guys uh, you know we it's not only they it's we who have uh, you know struggled quite a lot in doing that r and hadoop integration and uh, making some some of the things work so hopefully when it will come up uh, at least those issues should not arise with spark so that that is about spark r and this is how the you know uh, spark ecosystem would look like i hope uh, it excites you quite a bit right so that was pretty much about what exactly is spark what exactly is its ecosystem why should i go about it now a uh, bit note uh, uh, note on scale